Hey guys, December has been crazy busy, so I'm really sorry this video is a little bit late, but I wanted to talk about something that happened to me twice this year that made me want to quit photography. It's a thing that we all dread, having your hard drives fail. Every photographer has a story about a time when their hard drive failed and they lost a bunch of data, and yet for some reason we still think that it's not going to happen to us, or if it did happen, that it's not going to happen again. Well, let me tell you, it happened to me, twice, in one year, and it sucked. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you about what happened, what I did, and simple ways that you can prevent it from happening to you. For the past six years, I've been using external hard drives made by G Technology. These drives are expensive. They have metal enclosures and power adapters, and they're supposed to be solid, fast, reliable, professional drives. I use these as my main working drives, though I had backups of my client work on a separate drive as well as on my desktop computer. But I wasn't as diligent about backing up my personal photography, and since I just started this YouTube channel, I wasn't really backing up my personal video work either. So back in February and then again in November, on two separate GTEC drives, I was working on them like normal when I started getting an error about not being able to access certain folders on the drive. So I restarted my computer, and then I stopped being able to access the drives completely. It was asking me to format the drive in order to even open it. And of course I was like, no, I don't want to format the drive. It has all of my things on it, like all of my things. Because I had backups of my client work, most of what was on the line was my personal photography, which I didn't really want to spend thousands of dollars trying to recover professionally. But it still would have been painful to lose any of it, so I decided to try my hand at data recovery myself. The first time it happened, I ended up having to format the drive in order to access it. Then I used an open source data recovery software called PhotoRec in order to recover the formatted files. You can also try Recuva if you're not comfortable with command line programs. Just make sure to do plenty of research before you attempt to do any data recovery on your own. There are a ton of tutorials out there that'll help walk you through it, but there's always a chance that it won't work. Because my first hard drive failure forced me to format the drive, the folder architecture of the drive wasn't preserved. So when I got the recovered data, I basically got back a massive dump of a terabyte of photos and files in no order with completely jumbled names. It took me about two weeks to go through it all and I still ended up losing about 10 to 15% of all of my photos. And that number's kind of a guess because I don't really know what I lost. I just know that some photos that I remember taking weren't there anymore. The second time it happened, it was to a new GTEC drive, but I had already created a backup system for myself, so I should have been clear, right? I should have been good, I learned my lesson. Nope, I fell behind last month. I just got super busy and fell behind on backing stuff up, and of course, that was when my hard drive decided to fail. This time, the data corruption wasn't as bad, and I was able to regain access to the drive simply by using CheckDisk. CheckDisk is a free Windows utility that checks the integrity of hard drives and fixes any basic errors. Somehow, it corrected the read error and I was able to regain access to the drive. And as soon as I did, I backed up everything that I hadn't before and I only ended up losing about a handful of files. Not great, but definitely not the worst case scenario. The best New Year's resolution that you can make for your work, even if photography is just a hobby, is to start mirroring your data. And if you're just starting out, there are really simple ways to do this. First, if your DSLR has two card slots, always shoot to both cards. That way you always have a backup in case something goes wrong with the original cards. Second, when you get home, have two hard drives that are the same size and offload each card to both drives. That way you always have your raw files in at least two to three locations. If you're doing professional photography, you could take it a step further by purchasing or building a RAID setup, which automatically mirrors all of your data into a set of drives. I invested in my first RAID setup this month just so I never have to deal with this kind of a headache again, and I linked the tutorial I used to build mine in the description box below. If you're not as comfortable building your own, you can also purchase pre-made RAIDs from Lacie. They're just way pricier. Lastly, I signed up for Backblaze, which is a cloud backup service that will send me a drive with the entire contents of my desktop if anything happens to my computer. It's just another way of really securing my work and making sure nothing like this ever happens again. So it's pretty wild to have two hard drive failures in the same year from the same company, so I will personally never be using GTEC drives again. I've also been using LaCie drives for the past six years with no issue, and these are pretty popular among photographers, so I'm in the process of switching completely to LaCie drives for travel and backup and using my RAID array for everything else. So to recap, shoot to two cards if you can, 
Offload to two different drives and duplicate anything you do on one drive to another. Consider a RAID array to automatically mirror your drives. And look into cloud backup solutions if you store files on your computer. And if the worst happens, check the links in the description box below for the data recovery software that I mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year and thank you guys so much for your patience as I've tried to get this channel onto a regular schedule. I will hopefully be seeing you guys in two weeks, if not sooner or later. Hopefully, hopefully sooner. Bye.